Misinformation is rife on the internet, and this is also true surrounding breast cancer and health. Today, I'm going to go through some commonly asked questions and will explain whether they are true or false. In fact, I'm going to go over five of them. Hi, my name is Tasha Gandhi here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast cancer specifically. Do mammograms cause breast cancer? Some people think that the radiation used in mammograms damages healthy breast tissue and triggers cancer cell growth. This fear often stems from a misunderstanding of radiation and its effects on the body. So what actually happens when you have a mammogram? Mammograms actually utilize very low doses of ionizing radiation, typically around 0.4 to 4 millisieverts, depending on the facility and individual factors. And this is roughly equivalent to the natural radiation exposure we receive from environmental sources in about two months. In addition to this, modern mammograms focus radiation only on the breast tissue itself, minimizing exposure to other organs. And whilst any radiation exposure carries some theoretical risk, the benefits of early breast cancer detection through mammograms far outweigh this minimal risk. Studies have shown that mammograms significantly reduced breast cancer mortalities, especially in women over 50. Now, of course, the decision to get a mammogram should be made in consultation with a healthcare professional. Remember, mammograms remain a valuable tool for early breast cancer detection, and the benefits of early detection outweigh the minimal radiation risk associated with mammograms. And so, mammograms do not increase the risk of breast cancer. Trauma or injury causes breast cancer. Some people worry that physical blows, impacts or accidents to the breast tissue directly trigger the development of cancer cells. The truth is, cancer development is a complex multi-step process involving genetic mutations and abnormal cell growth. A single event like trauma doesn't inherently trigger this process. Now, injuries can cause scar tissue formation in the breast, which may sometimes feel like lumps during self-examinations. However, scar tissue itself is not cancerous and doesn't transform into cancer. In some cases, a pre-existing cancerous lump might first become noticeable after an injury, leading to the mistaken belief that the injury caused the cancer. But in fact, the injury itself led to the person to examine their breast and then found the lump as a result of that examination. And so trauma or injury does not directly cause breast cancer. Can natural remedies cure breast cancer? Now, the allure of natural solutions is understandable, especially when facing a serious diagnosis like breast cancer. However, the myth that natural remedies can cure breast cancer can have dangerous consequences if it leads people to delay or abandon conventional medical treatment. And this is why natural remedies does not cure cancer. No credible scientific studies have proven that any natural remedy can cure breast cancer. While certain natural substances might hold promise in future research, there is currently no evidence to support their use as cures. Breast cancer is a complex disease with various subtypes and risk factors, and so a one-size-fits-all natural cure simply doesn't exist. While natural remedies cannot replace established medical treatment, some complementary approaches can support well-being during and after treatment. Mind-body practices such as yoga, meditation, and acupuncture may help manage stress and anxiety associated with cancer. And of course, a nutritious diet can support overall health and energy levels during treatment. And so, natural remedies do not kill cancer. Breast implants interfere with mammograms. It's true that breast implants can present challenges during mammogram screenings, but do breast implants completely interfere, preventing accurate detection? Well, radiologists are actually trained in specific techniques to optimize mammograms for women with implants. And these techniques can involve various things. For example, displacement views, where we push the implant back and compress the breast tissue that further allows better visualization of hidden areas. We can have angle views, where we take images from different angles that provide more comprehensive views of the breast. And also we can use ultrasound scans 
In some cases, the ultrasound scan can be used to complement mammograms and other alternative views. Studies have shown that with these specific specialized techniques, mammograms for women with implants can be highly accurate in detecting breast cancer. And so, breast implants do not prevent accurate mammograms with the right techniques. Breast size is linked to cancer risk. The bigger the breast, the bigger the risk. Is this true? People think that larger breasts inherently carry a higher risk of cancer. Well, breast size is primarily determined by factors such as genetics, hormonal influences, body weight and age. Cancer risk is multifactorial, with various genetic, environmental and lifestyle factors playing significant roles. Studies have examined the relationship between breast size and breast cancer risk, and none have found a direct correlation. Breast cancer risk is determined by many factors. Age, genetics, reproductive history, hormonal factors, lifestyle choices, but not breast size. So instead of worrying about breast size, it's probably more important to focus on modifiable risk factors for breast cancer. And these include maintaining a healthy weight, limiting alcohol consumption, and staying physically active. Every woman's risk of breast cancer is unique and influenced by a combination of factors. And it's crucial for women to discuss their individual risk factors with healthcare providers. And so the notion that breast size is linked to breast cancer risk is a myth and it is not true. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.